Hi there, and welcome back. Thanks for joining me for episode number two in my 52-week series of podcasts on behalf of Crayon Kids. I'm excited to get to today's topic, so here we go. Life can be surprisingly disappointing, and that can be a wonderful thing. Many of you might know that I'm a recent cancer survivor. Since 2019, I've been battling breast cancer. This fact is important to today's topic in several ways. I want to share a portion of my story that helps to clarify my message. When I was first diagnosed with cancer, I experienced a lot of different emotions that came in waves. Panic, confusion, anger, frustration, disbelief, and a desire to deny that this was actually happening and was the truth. As we all know, the truth is the truth. Whether you want to believe it or not, truth doesn't change simply because you would like it to be different than it is. So I had cancer, and I had a few choices to make. I could choose to pretend that it wasn't the truth. This one's always where my mind wants to go when I get information I don't want to hear. I could feel sorry for myself and find a bunch of convincing reasons to believe that everyone else in the world was not suffering nearly as much as me. But I know that's not the truth. I could accept that I have cancer. More on this in a moment. I could get angry that this was happening to me, which I did. I could educate myself on what other people who were diagnosed with cancer do and establish a pattern of behavior based on their experiences. I could stop and take an internal look at myself, my life, find the things that are positive and realize what I am grateful for today. And finally, I could do all of these things. Well, after nearly 18 months of having cancer, I definitely have done all of these things. And what I've come to realize about disappointing news is that everyone I know experiences it in their lifetime. Some of the largest strides of personal growth have come from how I react to those disappointments. Anyone who thinks that they should live their life without ever experiencing disappointment or tragedy is not being very realistic. The road of life is not a straight interstate. It's more like a two-lane highway, sometimes curvy, sometimes straight, sometimes full of hills and climbing elevations, and sometimes it's a wild downhill descent takes your breath away. But you know what? If you get lost on your lifelong road trip, you can always stop at the next rest area and take a breather. You can pull over at the next off-ramp and fuel up or ask for directions. The point is, is that you have options. And there are many people and places that exist along the way to get the help, the rest, get yourself ready to get back on the road. Changing your outlook on a disappointment is not easy, but it's important if you want to thrive and learn, continue to live a life full and healthy. Some days you just have to stop. Remind yourself of something in your life that's a blessing. Even if it's just that you look outside and you spot a bird flying up in the sky, or you see a ray of sun poking through those clouds. In that moment, you can accept that something is good, and you can allow yourself to soak up that feeling and carry it with you throughout the day. So am I grateful that I got cancer? No, cancer sucks, as they say. But... Did getting cancer allow me to take an inventory of my life? Did it open my eyes to the simplest, 
most wonderful, beautiful things that this world has to offer? Absolutely. I no longer find myself worrying about many things. If I open my eyes and I look around and see friends and family and a beautiful world outside, I take it all in and I truly appreciate every single moment that I am given. And I find that I'm quicker to thank the lady who makes my coffee at Starbucks and I'm more likely to round up my change to feed someone in need. Every time I say I appreciate something, I have found that I'm repaid tenfold by others offering me their gratitude. And around and around it goes. So the next time that something disappointing happens in your life, I hope you'll remember these words. Give yourself permission to reevaluate your reaction. It's been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. And it's given me the clarity to see how wonderful and how short life really is. I'll wrap up today by reminding you that you matter, you are loved, and you are so much more powerful than you know. That's it for now. This is Lynette Dodson. I look forward to sharing more with you next week. See you soon.